into my slate ground. I feel like a new slayer. Here, let me slap the damage. by evil spirits vibe from this. Liberal application of holy water ought to drive away those pesky phantom menaces. Another soup bowl from hell?
job. I just need to say, please. Nothing like a brisk walk in a set. Gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Come on, Buffy. All right, check the Slayer style.
eyes. There's just no talking to him. job. I just... You wish you'd stayed home tonight. No, don't touch me. Just jump. by your mangled corpse. Go Buffy! Go Buffy! I should 
walk into my slick room. So much for stealth. Right, falling ceiling. Time to dash. You are becoming quite a nuisance, girl. Oh, look. Grave Robber Speaks. Meanwhile, this little souvenir ought to help Giles figure out what all the boogity boogity's about. Oh, no. You are dead. I killed you. I crushed your bones to dust.
I killed him, Giles. I killed him and then crushed his bones so that he couldn't ever come back. This is so not happening. I fear that it is. You see, your crushing the Master's skeleton precluded any further attempt to reanimate him as a being of flesh and bone. But it is possible that a skilled necromancer could resurrect him in a disembodied state, as a kind of phantom. On the bright side, however, the Master would be in a relatively weakened state in this spectral form, and the collapse of the Church may well have terminated his resurrection at a critical point. You're completely guessing, aren't you? Call it an hypothesis. Frankly, what truly baffles me is Spike's involvement in all this. All of this, the, the, the regrouping of the Order, the, the summoning of Materiani, the, the possible resurrection of the Master. Logic dictates that this isn't Spike's plan. But if not Spike's, then whose? And to what dark purpose? Wait, wait. The Master was in a dream I had the other night. That's not a huge surprise. He's made dream cameos before that didn't mean anything. But maybe there's more to it. Besides the Master, there were these three nasty demons, like the patron saints of S&M and self-mutilation or something. They had these weird symbols on their noggins that looked something like this. It appears to be a, a sigil of some kind. I'll add this to the research I'm doing on the tattoos worn by those two distinctive vampires you fought. Hey Giles, maybe I should work with this talisman. If I can master the spell that controls it, I might be able to reverse it. That isn't quite how the Tadaka talisman works, Willow. The necromantic power was in the necromancer. The talisman is charged with magical energies that allow the wearer to focus and magnify his or her mystical abilities. It is a potent tool for witchcraft, but I'm afraid that it can also prove quite dangerous. Unless properly controlled, the talisman's power can corrupt the wearer. I'm not entirely convinced that you're ready to handle so powerful a tool. However, in light of recent events, it may be prudent for you to begin training with it immediately. With my supervision, of course. Of course. Gotta keep me from going to the dark side. Or just, you know, turning everyone into pigs and making the school disappear. Okay. You guys keep up with the research. I'm gonna go see Angel. If anyone can figure out why Spike's back in Sunnydale, it'll be him. Sure. That ought to be constructive. Time well spent. Provided you don't, you know, succumb to temptation and turn him evil again. Now, Cordelia, we're all a bit wary of Angel, and with reason. But you well know it's far more complicated than that. I just know I can never spend that much time with him, or anyone else who might suddenly decide to kill me in my sleep. And yet you're here with us. Imagine that. Look, while everyone bones up on sigils and resurrection, I'll head over to the mansion and bone up on Angel. That so did not come out right. Did you bring back any crystals? I was a little busy, but I did bring you a little something. By the strength of the emanation of Godoa and the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the vitality held within be now released, transferred to thee. Wow, what a rush. Thanks, Will. You heard Giles. Be careful with that thing. Practice safe magic. Not a single worry. I'm all about the caution. Oz is going to want his girl in one piece when he gets back. And now I've got all kinds of exciting images in my head. And I'm blushing. Once again, I believe it's necessary to widen your knowledge of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Please read this and begin practicing these new techniques immediately. Okay, but at this point I think I have a right to know. Just how many of these pages you got? I cannot imagine what could motivate Spike to aid in the resurrection of the Master. Perhaps Angel will be able to shed some light on Spike's actions. Are you sure we need to involve tall, dark, and brooding? If anyone can predict what Spike will do, it's Angel. Is he the good Angel or the bad Angel this week? Sometimes I forget. Not helpful, Zand. Hitting the books? That's helpful. Actually, I've developed this bizarre narcolepsy. I read about dusty old magic, just fall right to sleep. That's right. Trot off to the lair of your broody Jekyll and Hyde demon lover in the middle of a crisis. <sighs> Talk about priorities. The last time demons attacked the library, you and Xander were canoodling on Giles' desk while the rest of us tried to avoid decapitation. Good lord, could we please stay out of the librarian's office? And what happened to my antique letter opener? I'd always assumed that one of the Fraxis demons took it, but uh, perhaps I don't want to know. Just 
try to make yourself useful, Cordelia. Angel? Anybody home? I've got a bad feeling about this. Buffy, go! You have to get out of here. Angel? What is it? What's wrong? Get out while you can. If it takes me, you'll be the only one who can save me. <sighs> How about I just save you now? Looks like that screaming blue meanie threw up some kind of magical barrier in front of the door. Time to thrash first, ask questions later. You think you can take me? Come on, kick my ass. Suddenly, we haven't been introduced. I'm the Slayer, and you're history. My dream. This has got to be a key. Now, if I can just find the lock it fits into. Ooh! Must be some way to open this. All right. Ye old and wacky security system. Of course, now that I've found it, I'm gonna need a key to open it. Damn. Why do the bizarro antique security systems all require more than one key? Must be some way to open this. Must be some way to open this.
not in a good way. So that's what that means. Nothing like a brisk walk and a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Would you please shut up? This won't hurt a bit. Holy water. Don't leave home without it. Come in handy. Yippee Kai is slow. I never should have walked into my sleigh now. Dies right at the beginning. Guess you wish you'd stayed home tonight. You can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you. who pass by your mangled corpse. Cool. I wish they could all be California girls. Won't 
fudge. Ain't gonna happen. to move on. You can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you, but there's an endless supply of us. <clears throat> Slayer. Must be some way to open this. Denied. Must be another way. I need to sanctify the crap out of that with some holy H2O. Angel? Looking for your lover, Slayer? The vampire with the soul? An abomination. Sorry to say, he won't be yours for much longer. Now that is just gross. Thank <laughs> you. 
Angel! God, I was afraid that... Angel? What's wrong? Are you okay? No. But I will be, Slayer. I will be. Let go of me! You wound me, Slayer. Surely one last kiss isn't too much to ask. What part of let go didn't you understand? <laughs> Obnoxious rat. You feel my power. I killed you once before. I'll do it again. Looks like we're both hard to get rid of. Difference is, I'm still flesh and blood. You're just an echo. Hold it right there, Slayer. Can't afford to have you bollocksing this up. Sorry, no can do. Gotta fly. Damn her! Not that I'm a complainer, but you notice Cosmo has never run an article about the complications and falling in love with a vampire. The evil always gets in the way. Hello? But, duh! Thank you for that eloquent and comforting sentiment. Unfortunately, Buffy, yours is not the only bad news. While you were gone, my research turned up the origins of the sigil from your rather prophetic nightmare. It's the mark of three demons known collectively as the Quarter Cass, the Dreamers. Individually, these beings possess impressive psychic abilities. However, by joining forces, they can purportedly distort or mold reality within a certain proximity through mental projection. I suspect that the Master is attempting to locate and reunite the Dreamers so that he can exploit their powers for some greater evil purpose. I've got to find him and make sure he doesn't get all these Dreamer guys together. If you're all done with the usual blathering now, you might want to listen to what Xander has to say. While Buffy was fighting with her dead boyfriend and his pasty grandfather, we paid a visit to a part of town my precious car should never have to go to again. Xander, you got something from Willie. Got some pretty interesting stuff, actually. Of course, I had to promise not to rough him up. Hmm. And give him twenty dollars or so. Forty. Does anyone want to hear this? Anyway, apparently there's a ship loaded with black market supernatural knickknacks arriving in at the docks tonight. Willie overheard some of the Aurelius vamps say they're expecting a package and are supposed to be there to meet it. And so will we. Don't worry, Buffy. We'll find a way to get rid of the Master and get the old angel back. Well, not the old angel so much as the new old angel. Without the smoking, and the torture, and the homicide. I had to kill him once before. I don't know if I can take having to do it again. You'll do what has to be done, Buffy. You always have. I've located a new weapon for your Slayer, Arsenal. A Reaper Blade. Forged in 12th century Germany from various holy relics claimed during the Crusades, it is blessed with an uncanny supernatural sharpness and durability. Once you've gained experience with the blade, you may also attach the Reaper Wing, which will allow you to throw the blade with great force and accuracy. A new toy. And it isn't even my birthday. You're always thinking of me, Giles. If I get good with the wing, when do I get the Reaper shoes to complete the ensemble? Sadly, there are no Reaper shoes. Well, still, one can dream. Let me remind you, Buffy. The Dreamers are extremely powerful and have the ability to warp reality. I get it. If they're all together, they can use their mental powers. But for the mental powers, I'm assuming that means they all have to have heads. I'm seeing a solution here. Do not take this lightly. You'll have to be at the top of your game when you face them. Sticking to the metaphor, Giles? Don't worry. In this game, I'm in a league of my own. Looks like your boyfriend is all grrr again. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Just be careful, Buff. Always. I'm just worried what happens when I run into Angel. How do I destroy the Master without killing him, too? Maybe that's not the question you need to ask.
Okay, thought occurring. We shouldn't rule out the possibility that the nasty Dreamer Demon cargo hasn't been unloaded from the ship yet. Possible, but let's check the warehouses first. Aye, aye, Captain. Always wanted to say that. In what fantasy did you imagine I'd go into a place as grimy as this? The one where you're... Oh, that was a rhetorical question, wasn't it? Hey, feel free to hang out here and guard the entrance. Make sure none of the Aurelius vampires get out. On second thought, the search will go faster with an extra set of eyes. I'll start searching the warehouse for suspicious supernatural cargo. You be careful with the searching. Got it. What a time for me to be without one of those supernatural cargo-sniffing dogs. Won't budge. Ain't gonna happen. I've got a bad feeling about this. Showtime. You want a piece of me? I'll give you the whole damn pie. Oh, this is daylight. You can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you. There's an endless one. The difference between you and me, Slayer. <laughs> A new Slayer. Slayer, you're going down. You're almost too pretty to kill, but not quite. The Slayer. I heard. <laughs> Stalking on a full stomach. For the vampire who has. <laughs> Nothing like a brisk walk. 
in a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. That's it. No more is a nice guy. You hit like a boy. Daylight. Guess you wish you'd stayed home tonight. Spike is useful. You can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you, but there's an endless supply of us. Oh. I have better things to do than kick your ass, but nothing more fun. No! This is my town. Or, you know, those who pass by your mangled corpse. Slayer. There's only one of you, but there's an endless supply. Oh, there's this daylight. Come on. You're not even trying.
Can't win, Slayer. There's only one. Oh, this is bad. Are you guys having a contest with dumb and ugly? Because you got my vote. No! I feel like a new Slayer. Wait a second. I want you to have this. Thank you. Hello, Slayer. Nice night to die, don't you think? I need a little something to clean the up. Slayer. There's only one of you, but there's an endless supply of us. <laughs> you 
Where the hell are all the whimpering sacks of blood? <laughs> Sometimes in this job, I just have to say, ooh. I feel like a new slayer. Could come in handy. Won't budge. Ain't gonna happen. Like I'll be hitching a ride on a freight crane. Nope. Time to move on. like a brisk walk and a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. You know, sometimes in this job, I just have to go through. Hey, Buff. Take a gander at these. I didn't find any supernatural knickknacks, but I did find either monster fish scales that could be used as beautifully decorative ashtrays, or really big guitar picks. Hmm. Looks like the shell droppings of the dreaded Jumbo Shrimp Demon. <laughs> you are kidding, right? I never kid about demonic seafood. I think I'll go look for more suspicious crates and such.
Hey, pointy wooden object. My best friend. Baby, burn. Nothing like a brisk walk in a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Come in handy. Hey, Buffy. I think I've... Thought you were kidding about the whole jumbo shrimp thing. I thought I was, too.
guess you wish you'd stayed home tonight. I hate to be the one to tell you, but you're dead. a lesson to you, or, you know, those who pass by your mangled corpse.
smart. You want to taste? Grade A American high school girl. Now we're cooking with gas. Why do I think the ugly blue freak is responsible? Best kick his ass.
Don't budge. Ain't gonna happen. Are you minding it for a month? I feel like a new slayer. Must be some way to open this. Cargo appears to be intact. Heavy, though. They're gonna have to hook it up to the crane. Excellent. The master will be pleased. Don't get ahead of yourself. Until the last dreamer is in his hands, there's still a chance that we may fail him. Don't even say it. I don't want to think about what he would do to us then. wasn't man enough for me. Nothing like a brisk walk and a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Could come in handy. Slayer, and your history. Slayer, there's a 
My town.
Fire is Slayer. <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> You never should have walked into my sleigh ground. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Kill me if you can, Slayer. like a new slayer. looks on my back. Nothing like a brisk walk in a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. my union rep. Whew. Another hard day on the docks for a crane operator, man. is never of the good.
Yeah, I killed a couple three in my time. Kind of lost track of them now. Take it from the big bad mate. Slayers, they're not so bleeding tough. The dreamers are greatly displeased by your failure to protect their brother, as am I. However, despite your incompetence, I have conceived a means of harnessing and amplifying the remaining dreamers' powers that should allow the Order to complete its mission. My plan requires the forging of a Deglon Sphere using a mixture of steel and blood taken from the surviving dreamers. Even as we speak, my followers go to wrest control of a local foundry from its human proprietors. Now then, while all the important work is going on, the two of you will deal with the Slayer and her meddling cohorts. I cannot even begin to stress the importance of your success. Fail me again, and I'll have you both brutally tortured for months before I get bored enough to personally rip out your smiles. And fine. Disappoint me, and your beloved Drusilla's well-being is forfeit as well. Understood? Crystal, you pointy-eared old wanker. Did you bring back any crystals? I was a little busy, but I did bring you a little something. By the strength of the emanation of Godoa and the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the vitality held within be now released, transferred to thee. Wow, what a rush. Thanks, Will. Hey, Will, how you doing? Great, better than great, magnificent. Well enough that I'm tempted to add cuss words for emphasis. You found something. I damn well did indeed. I found a special spell of protection that should give the Master a big old eviction notice. Get him out of Angel's body and keep him from going back in. Yay me! Now all you have to do is find the Master's new hideout. Let it be known that Willow was not the only one who was useful. Let me guess. You painted your nails, went out for pizza, and pumped up your own tire this time. Actually, Cordelia was quite helpful. Thank you, Giles. See? Quite helpful. Looks like I'm doing all the hard work around here tonight. I helped Giles research those funky tattoos on the two vamps, that snake shapeshifter and the other one. Looks like there's some kind of magical thingy that allows a vampire to get down with its inner animal aspect. Whatever that's supposed to mean. And what is up with the vampires and the whole leather look anyway? It's like they've seen too many movies and bought into their own hype. Gotta have the look, the attitude, and suddenly thinking the world of darkness, a lot like Hollywood. Take this, Buffy. These new techniques will better prepare you for the dangers that lie ahead. I'm all about technique, but couldn't we put the dangers behind us at some point? So, one down, two to go? Without the combined power of the three dreamers, the Master should be unable to execute his plans. Well, that's very cool. If it wasn't for the whole angel being possessed thing, I'd say it even called for a celebration with ice cream. To be absolutely certain, the Master's purpose has been averted. We must track down the remaining dreamers and destroy them. And find a way to exorcise the Master's ghost from Angel. Yes, of course. And then the ice cream. If you insist. Now look, you'll have to track a member of the Order of Aurelius back to whatever location they've chosen as their new lair. I, for one, deserve an ice cream type reward. I was pretty impressive out there, if I do say so myself. And you do. Working that crane, fighting vamps, falling unconscious. I was a sight to behold. So Buffy, what's next? More crane operation? Some Slayer patrol duty, perhaps?
Hey, Cordy. You all right? Hey, Buffy. You blind? Do I look all right? She's fine. Trust me. Sit tight, Giles. I'm going to head out and beat the brush a little, see what scurries out. Have a care, Buffy. The master may be attempting to lure you into a trap. Again? That trick never works. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Besides, there are other students in the building, and they'll need someone looking out for them. Good luck. A sparkly thingy to add to my collection of sparkly thingies. Let's go, Slayer. I want to know what makes you so sick. Pay attention, Quasimodo. I'm about to ring your bell. Just not my day. I feel like a new Slayer. Budge. Ain't gonna happen. Take someone else, please! I haven't done anything! Time to oh. finish. slaughter to make a girl's night. Are you going to kill me? Because this is 
getting old.
like a brisk walk and a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Burn, baby, burn. Buffy, not to add chaos to catastrophe, but Xander overheard two Aurelius vamps talking about a package in the boiler room. The exploding kind? They're gonna blow up the school. Normally a cause for celebration, especially considering the history paper I just handed in. But, silly me, I'd rather the school not explode with us on the inside. Not to mention all the other people in the school right now, and Giles would be so sad about the books. Off to the boiler room to play Bomb Squad. Get everyone else out of here, Will, cuz... You know, I'm not really a member of the bomb squad. Going. Quickly. Don't blow up. The spike is useful. Let's go, Slayer. Ah! Oh, I know what makes you so sick. <laughs> oh, oh, kiss me. You want a piece of me? I'll give you the whole damn thing. <laughs> Oh, 
Slayer. walk in a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. right at the beginning. home tonight. 